Hello, John Zimmerman with tabletclass.com. And what I want to do in this video real quick is introduce you to this concept of a flipped uh, classroom. And this is uh, relatively new, at least the terminology um, is new, and it's, it's, pretty, it's a pretty cool little trend that's going on in education. Right now, currently I'm speaking to you in the year 2012, and I would have to say that it's kind of like the wild, wild west of education. There's so much new stuff on the horizon, and, and that's namely um, due to uh, the advent of technology and how it's being used. So it's really just a huge revolution going on in education in, all, in a number of different respects. But uh, this idea of a flipped classroom, although the concept or teachers have been doing this for, for some time, uh, including myself, I was kind of doing this probably like 10 years ago when I was teaching. It's really exciting. I think it's um, it's pretty cool for for most people to at least have a basic introduction to what this is. So let's take a look at a classroom okay, and learning, how learning occurs in a, in a class, a traditional school uh, setting, if you will. So let's look at the players. Let's look at uh, what we have here, right? So we have a teacher, okay, we have a student, and the student also has a home or they, they go someplace after school, right? And then, of course, we have our classroom, kind of our theater, our stage for learning. So traditionally, how has learning occurred? Okay, well, let's just kind of do it this way. So a student comes to school, okay, they sit in the classroom, and the teacher does what? Well, the teacher teaches, which is essentially a they're a kind of a deliverer of instruction. Okay, so the student here is taking in new instruction from the teacher. So the teacher is going to present a lesson and they're going to review, et cetera, et cetera. But basically the teacher's job traditionally is to deliver new instruction to the student. So what happens after they, the student leaves the classroom? Well, they go home and they do what? They practice what they learned. And that's called homework, right? And then they come back the next day and the teacher essentially reviews. So this is good. I mean, this is a traditional model and it, I definitely don't want to knock it because, um, you know, there's many, many successful teachers and many, many successful classrooms and schools. And, um, uh, you know, this is a, a very good model. However, it does have its um, its issues, if you will. So let's suppose during this class uh, room time, let's say it's 50 minutes, right? And that's it, 50 minutes. This student's sitting here. Maybe it's the wrong time of day. Maybe they're not feeling good. Maybe they're hungry. Whatever the case is, they have this one shot to get the instruction from the teacher. Hey, it's either now or never because the teacher is not going to teach you, you know, this material all day long or after school or before school. So this student has to get that instruction. Now, what, hap what happens if the student, you know, really didn't get the instruction down too well, right? So what's going to happen is that 50 minutes of, of instruction delivery time, it's not going to be, it's not going to stick with that student so well. So now they go home and let's say they struggle for another 50 minutes trying to do their homework. Okay. And they come back and you can see there's kind of a vicious cycle, right? So they didn't really understand the instruction and their practice really wasn't, um, you know, uh, effective um, likewise, right? So this is, this is a big problem. Obviously, you know, when a student comes home, they have a question, what can they do? Well, you know, they can use programs like, say, tablet class. They can get a tutor and everything else. But more often than not, the, the student's just going to, you know, they're going to struggle, right? They're going to either do, not do their homework or they're going to do the homework incorrectly, etc. So, yeah, I think most of you out there pretty much get the idea. This is the traditional method. Now, I will say this much. What happens if the student, you know, understands some of the problems, but they work through it? They can come back to school the next day, and then hopefully, you know, generally speaking, in most uh, classrooms, the teacher will review the homework a little bit, allow the, st uh, the students to ask questions, and they go from there. So this is the traditional model. So let's now flip it, okay? We're going to flip it and talk about what that means, okay? So let me erase this. And I'm not, like I said, I'm, I really don't want to make a, uh, what's the word here? I don't want to discourage the traditional model as an educator myself. It's just that the flipped classroom has some advantages, but it's but it's different. So let's, let me just actually tell you what the flipped classroom is, and and then we can go from there. So the flipped classroom is going to be a little bit different. So now, instead of the teacher 
okay, being the primary deliver of instruction, something different is going to occur. What's going to happen is that student at home, okay, is going to is their main focus instead of practicing is their their main focus is going to now be getting that instruction. Okay, so instead of the teacher being the primary deliverer of instruction, the student at home has to now get the instruction. All right, so here's the deal, right? So at home, instead of practicing, the student is learning learning new material. Okay, now once they've learned the new material the best they can, they come in to the classroom, and now the teacher and the student are going to be able to interact and discuss basically what they learn. Okay, and this gives the teacher much more, um, I guess, much more of an advantage with the student because now they're acting as a mentor or a coach. Like they're getting feedback from the student. The student saying, "Hey, this is what I learned." The teacher saying, "Yes, that's good." Um, I have a question about this. Here's your answer. It's essentially the classroom time. This 50 minutes, if you will, now becomes a very rich dialogue of instruction okay and that's going to lend itself to retention okay so essentially instruction is taking place at home and in the classroom is kind of like your practice right practice if you will your homework time if that's the way you want to think about it so you can see this kind of idea of uh, things being flipped so this is excellent okay so now instead of the teacher let's suppose the the student really didn't um, get the instruction that well. Okay, the teacher can kind of clear it up and go from there. Instead of instead of that student being lost in class, going home and being lost with the homework, they can maybe struggle a bit with the instruction at home or maybe not get it. But they can come in and ask questions about it. So you can see there's a lot of advantages here to flip your classroom. Now this is this is um, uh, I guess the word kind of aggressive, if you will. It's it's challenging to do. It's um, non-traditional, so not every classroom in America or all schools are going to flip their classrooms because there's challenges. Primarily, the biggest challenge is getting good instruction, getting the student to access great instruction, just as the teacher would deliver at home. Um, one of the things that is exciting for me personally, with Tab as the founder of TabaClass.com, is that what our team and myself we've developed an excellent, excellent learning. Uh, platform. Really, what I've been striving to do for many, many years with Tablet Class is to have a um, have a learning resource that delivers instruction just as as it, the, just as high quality and engaging as a teacher would do in the classroom. That's what we focus on at Tablet Class. So, at home, for example, if somebody was using Tablet Class, they would be able to to really you know have a high quality instructional experience then come in to the classroom and be well prepared so I think with a resource like Tablet Class and I'm not saying Tablet Class is the only resource but the key is this the student has to have a great resource at home more than say I would say they're just their textbook okay because if textbooks could teach everybody then we wouldn't need teachers right but if you could have effective instruction at home and and I have that student come in prepared that classroom time becomes so much more um, robust and just really lends itself better to retention, engagement, etc. So for sure, I am a proponent of uh, the Flips uh, classroom concept. I think it could really go far. And um, of course, you know the key is having a motivated student actually participate in great instruction away from the classroom. Okay, so hopefully you learned a little bit today. I think uh, you know. Um, Education is exciting. It's much more than just, hey, pick up a book, listen to a teacher, do some homework. It really, it really is a science or an art form in that respect. But anyways, if you're an educator out there or a parent or a student and you want to know about more about what we do at Tablet Class, please come on over to tabletclass.com, take a free trial. And if you have any questions, there is a contact form on our site. And thank you for spending some time with me. Have a great day.